Good evening, Noem. How are you? Hello, hello. Good evening. I'm I fine. Excellent. Thank you. So, how was your day? And uh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you for joining the class on time. All right, no problem. Okay. Okay, so let's see who else is here. I can see also Miguel Angel Santos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, how are you? Sorry? How are you? All good. All, all good? All right, great. Excellent. Yes. I'm good. Thank you for asking, all right? So I'm really happy to be here tonight, all right? And also I can see uh, Guillermo. Hello, Guillermo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Mm, fine. Thanks for asking me, you. Okay, great, great, great. Excellent. Thank you for joining the class. All right. Uh, well, Evelyn, good evening. I know you said that you're going to be as a listener, so no problem. All right. Thank you for reporting. So let's see. Um, okay. We are just going to um, give a couple of minutes, perhaps one or two minutes the most waiting for your classmates to join the class, okay? And I want to thank you very much for being punctual, right? So I appreciate that. Let's just wait for your classmates just one more minute, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, thank you. So let's see here. Well, in the meantime, tell me, guys, how is the weather in your cities? Is it raining already? In my city, no for this moment. No, not yet. Okay, not yet. very good. Exactly. So that's how you say todavía no. Okay, like that one. So I can see as well um, Henry as part of the class. Good evening, Henry. Okay, so let's see. One more minute, people. Just one more minute. We are about to start. See, let's see. Okay, well, let's start right now, ladies and gentlemen. We have waited two minutes for your classmates so they can actually incorporate later and participate in the activities, of course, right? So, well, once again, officially, good evening and welcome to the class, right? So tonight we have a lot of activities that um, are part of the um, uh, topics that we have been studying, right? And uh, let's just start the class with one of my favorite activities, which is a tongue twister. Remember, right? Tongue twisters help you to develop a nice pronunciation, right? So, and also they help you with the intonation as well. So let's see what's the first activity here for tonight. Take a look. You should be able to see it now. Let's see. This one, this one, this one. All right, excellent. So then we have a tongue twister so we can practice before everybody else joins the class, okay? So I will help you with the pronunciation and then you guys can um continue and repeating, right? So this one right here is going to be very simple. So we go over like three thing thieves thought a thousand Thoughts. Okay. So that's the um the most important part of the tongue twister. So like the first words. 
Why? Because then you have to repeat them again in a different order, right? So, but you need to remember like the pronunciation of all of them here. So this one right here, again, three, theme, thieves, thought, a thousand thoughts. One more time, listen, and then you repeat. Three, theme, thieves, thought, a thousand thoughts. Let's listen to it one more time. Three, thing, thoughts, thought, a thousand thoughts. Okay, so now it's time for you to practice. Oh, I can see here more people have joined the class, right? So I can see uh, Jill. Hello, Jill. Eduardo, uh, Daniel. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Wilfredo Luna, Ursula, hello, good evening. All right, so we are practicing with this tongue twister, all right? So let me just help you with the pronunciation one more time. So you can repeat after me if you can. All right, three, thin, thieves, thought, a thousand thoughts. That's the first part here, all right? And so, and let's see this one right here. All right. So one more time, so it's gonna be like this. Three team thieves thought a thousand thoughts. Now, if three team thieves thought a thousand thoughts, how many thoughts did each thief think? That's the pronunciation of this one, all right? So everybody, I'm going to give you right now just um, two minutes so you can practice this tongue twister, right? And after the time ends, I'm going to choose some volunteers so they you can help me guys with the pronunciation of this tongue twister, okay? So let's see. Everybody, please continue, 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 continue. Go ahead. Practice, practice, practice. If you have questions about pronunciation, tell me. I will be more than happy to help you with them. Go ahead. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Two minutes, two minutes. Mm -hmm. Practicing, practicing the tongue twister. Remember, three thin thieves thought a thousand thoughts. Now, if three thin thieves thought a thousand thoughts, how many thoughts did each thief think? Exactly that. So let's continue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yay. One more time, one more time. You still have... One minute and 30 seconds. Continue, continue, please. One minute and 30 seconds, correct. So I can see Mr. Custodio, thank you. Good evening. Maritza, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the information on the group so everybody can see it as well. Ooh, someone else just joined the class. That's Catherine. Catherine Reyes. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Almost time, everybody. Almost time. So let's see. 30 seconds. Come on, 30 seconds, and then we're finished. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, time's up. Excellent, everybody. So now I want to see some volunteers. Who wants to be my first volunteer? Huh? Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. 
Hello, hello, volunteers for practicing the tongue twister. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Hello. Who is going to be my first volunteer? Uh -huh. Hello. Thank you, Miguel. Go ahead. Okay. Um, three thin thieves, those adults and dolls. Now it's three thin thieves, those adults and dolls. How many those did each thief think? All right, excellent. Thank you very much, my friend, on that one. Thank you very much for trying, right? So remember, pronounce it like the, like the TH. The three theme fifths, that a thousand thoughts. Good job, all right? So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, all right? So next one, next one, who's the next one? Thank you, Mr. Luna, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Luna. I guess Mr. Luna has issues with the microphone. Um, anybody else in the meantime? Any other volunteer? Who said that? David? Is that you? No. No, hello. All right, who is it? Mr. Luna? See, see, I see, teacher. Yes. All right, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, three thin tips, toes, a thousand toes. Now, if three thin thieves toast a thousand toast, how many toast did each thief did each thief think? Excellent. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. At the end, right? It's a little bit of confusion at the end, but <laughs> it was actually good in general. So good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank All you. right. So who was speaking before? I, I couldn't see who was it, right? So uh, the, the previous volunteer. Who was my volunteer? Who? Sure. Henry, right? Okay. Three team thieves stop a thousand thou. Now it's three team thieves stop a thousand thou. How many thou did each thief think? Thank you, Henry. That was actually a great effort as well. Thank you very much. You know, you did it good. All right. Another volunteer, people? Mm hmm. Uh-huh, good morning. What happens with the girls? No girls tonight? Mm -hmm. Me teacher. The girls? First power. Another volunteer who is still another volunteer. We have Noe, right? Okay. Three Go ahead. three thin thin thief tops a tops and tops. No if three thin thief tops a tops and tops. How many tops did each thing thing? Thank you very much, right? That was actually good as well. Thank you, Noe. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. What about the girls? No girls tonight? Evelyn, Ursula, Catherine, Maritza, Reina. Oh, Reina okay. is listening. Who is it? Three things. So, a thousand so. Now is three things. So, a thousand so. How many toes did it thin? Thank you very much. All right. So that was actually good. Uh huh. Let's see. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Another person? Come on, volunteers. So you can practice your pronunciation. Mm -hmm. I tried to, but I have a cold. I tried. All right. No, no worries. No worries. Um, Three things, so a thousand thousand. Now it's three things, so a thousand wrong. How many 
Yeah. 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 Right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So you did it good, Ursula. Don't worry. So that was actually very good as well. Thank you. All right. So we are going to um stop with this activity here. You guys were doing a very good job. All right. I have to say it as well. And um, yeah, remember, this is about practicing, right? So the more you practice, the better you will get pronouncing tongue twisters like the example we have here right now. Okay, so now let's see what's the next activity for tonight. Okay, for tonight, we have a review, a review, a review, a review of like the last topic that we check on Friday, right? which were like the sequence wars or the linking wars or connectors, like however you want to call them, right? So well, we have those ones right here. So we have more. Let's just review this one right here. All right, everybody, we have now more vocabulary. So I want you to please uh, check this one here and repeat with me if you can hear, please, everybody. After, repeat it, after. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. One after. more time, this one. As soon as... Repeat it, as soon as. As soon as. Thank you. Next one, because. Repeat it. Because. Thank you. This one, by the time. Repeat it. By, by the time. time. Excellent. Next one, just as. Just as. Very good. This one right here, once. 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 Very good. This one. When. When. Thank you. In this one right here. While. 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 Thank Wire. you very much. All right. So we have those words right here. All right. So that's the pronunciation. Now let's talk about the meaning here. All right. So what is the meaning of, uh, um, let's say this one right here. After. What is after? Mm -hmm. This point Después. Después, that's correct. Thank you very much. As soon as, what is that? Immediately. Tan right now. pronto como. Pronto uh -huh. como. Tan pronto como, exactly, right? So it's just a connector, right? So remember, uh, for example, you want to say, eh, terminaré el, la tarea tan pronto como eh, vea el video, for example, right? So that's like a connector right there. All right, so this one is easy because, repeat everybody, because. Because. And that is in Spanish? Porque. Porque. Porque, Porque. Porque when you are giving an, um, you know, una razón, right? So like that. There you go, there you go. Okay, excellent. So the next one, it will be by the time. Repeat it, by the time. By the by time. time. All right, what's the meaning? En el tiempo? Mm -hmm. By the time, what with that one, by the time. En el tiempo? Por el momento. Por el momento, aha. Uh -huh. Any other ones? ¿Qué sería, people? All right. Para el momento, if you want to say like this one. So, for example, if you want to say, um, ya había terminado la tarea para el momento en que me llamaron, for example. All right, so, so we're going this for by the time. There you go. Excellent. So, what's the next one, everybody here? So, we have by the time, okay? And the next one, as just, just sorry, just as. Repeat it, just as. Just as. And what is that? Justo mm -hmm. como. Mm, it would be casi eso, all right? So, sería tal como. Like when you're giving examples, you know? So, I have to do a lot of things just as um, doing the homework, cleaning the house, etc. right? So, thank you. So, what about the next one right here? Everybody, let's see here. Once, repeat it, once. Once. Okay, that would be? Una, una vez. Yes, una vez. All right. So remember, like Selena, right? Como la Selena. Si una vez dije que okay, continue with the song. All right. So let's just continue with that one. Then this one right here. When. Repeat it. When. 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 That will be what? 
cuando. Cuando, 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 cuando. So you can say this one. So for example, eh, you can say, yo estaba haciendo la tarea cuando empezó a llover. So you say that connector right there. All right. And the last one, which is while. What's the meaning of while? While, while mientras. Mientras, exactly, right? So you go and say this one. It's just like, I was doing an activity while I was doing another activity. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to, um, you know, work on this review right here. Okay, so we're going to be working with the uh, breakout rooms so you can actually complete this exercise um, in couples, all right? So, but let me check attendance para ver cómo estamos aquí. Okay, so let's see. Veamos. All right, pasando a lista, people. All right, los que tienen oyente aquí, pues solo los voy a mencionar. Los demás voy a confirmar si pueden participar o no. All right, so tengo a Evelyn como oyente, Jill como listener, Miguel Ángel Santos. Can you participate in the activity? Yes, I can. All right, thank you. So, uh, Catherine Reyes. Catherine, Catherine. Hi. Si puede participar en activities? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Noé Gustavo. Noé, Noé. Yes, okay, excellent. So he can actually participate. Very good. So let's see. Eh, Henry Giovanni. Hello, Henry. Yes, sir. Si podemos participar esta yeah. noche, estamos con la conexión. Good. Estamos estable. Ok, excellent. Thank you. So, Mr. Membreño, Daniel está como listener. Ok. Eh, Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present teacher. You can participate normally, right? Yes. Ok, thank you. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Yes, I can. Ok, thank you. Nuria. Hello, Nuria. Yes, teacher. Can you participate normally? Yes. Okay, awesome. Thank you. So we got this one, uh, Eduardo Flores. This is listener. Ursula Esteli. Can you participate normally? No, teacher, I can. You, you can? Yes? No, I can. Okay. In that case, I would just like modify here when you said Ursula, where is it? Okay, it's going to be listener. No problem. So we can see this one. Carlos Rivas, can you participate? Present teacher, yes. All right, excellent. Um, Edwin S.U. Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Um, Mr. Luna, can you participate? Yes, I can, teacher. Okay, excellent. So it's going to be this one right here. And then uh, one second. Okay, okay. So let's see here. One second, just checking, organizing here the breakout rooms para que tengan todos ahí um, alguien con quien participar y los song listeners. Okay, let's see. Quick second. Okay, excellent. So the rooms have been organized in a way that you can participate. Y los que no puedan participar se pueden unir para, you know, like listening and continue with the class. All right. So please accept the invitation and go to the breakout rooms right now. Go ahead.
Perfect. All right, excellent. We repeat it. All right. Let me see if I can send. Just uh, put my down on our group. Yay. Someone send it to the group. Okay. Yes, in the group of WhatsApp, Esmeralda lo envió. So uh, that's you, Sonia, right? Yes. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I will be here in the room for a couple of minutes. If you have questions, let me know. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to share the screen so we can see what somebody's working. Wow. What's number one? Number one. I call you while why no perdón. I ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa? La primera. ¿Cuál de todas, my friend? La primera donde está el contractado. La I y L L después. You can say I'll, I'll or you can pronounce it separate. I will. Ajá, uh -huh. thank you. You wasn't. Sería, I'll call you while I get home. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, no. No. No, no, no. You know, while sería cuando estemos like doing the two activities at the same time, right? Haciendo dos acciones al mismo tiempo. Y esa tenemos una acción en future que sería uh -huh. I will call you llegue uh -huh. yeah, yeah, a casa. All right, entonces it could be another one. Mm -hmm. Okay. This podría ser I'll call you as soon as uh -huh. I get home. As soon as I get home. Yes, that's the correct answer in that one. Very good job. Okay. Excellent, Sonia. Good job. Decide to go for a walk. Excuse me, the next one. Oh, we decided to go for a walk. Yes. A moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. Okay, any other idea?
in the number two, we decide to go for a walk by the time we had lunch. Mm. Possible? I have a question. I have a question for you, Miguel. What's the meaning of uh by the time? En el tiempo. ¿Ah? En el tiempo. Mm -mm. Has a different one. All right. So we'll be para el tiempo. Uh -huh. by the, the time. Moment. O para el momento. You know. Para el momento que, ajá, entonces decidimos like, decidimos Sería, ir, we decide ajá. to go for a walk while we had lunch. Mm -mm. Mientras okay. tomábamos el almuerzo. No, pero like imagine, like, usted like caminaría mientras come, for example. Sería once, una vez habíamos almorzado. Mm. <coughs> Remember, en ese example number two, primero hay una acción y después va la otra acción. So, what is it? Es que dice, nosotros salimos a caminar o mm -hmm. decidimos salir a caminar. Correct. Es la primera. Alpha. Es como decidimos salir a caminar después que habíamos almorzado, algo así. There you go, Henry. Entonces sería alpha. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Exactly, that's y la correct. tercera la tercera para mí es I was washing my hair my hair hair when uh -huh. When the phone rang. Correct. Correct. That is correct. Excellent. Van super bien, right? So right now I will go to a different breakout room para ver cómo están los demás también. So see how the other ones are working. All right. So and recuerden que se van a repetir dos eh, porque solo son ocho. They are only eight. All right. So we are going to repeat two. Okay, if you have questions, call me. I'll be back immediately. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Good job, guys. Good, good, good job. Okay. Compañeros, para mí la cuatro. Hello. Hey, teacher. ¿Cómo van? How are you doing? <laughs> ya casi terminando. Almost finished. Finished? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can have you can have the new closer. Maybe what? we need to wait it. Um I think it's the when when. Mm -hmm. Uh, Are you sure? Mm -hmm. No? Oh, after. 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 But I think after. You said on after. Have you used after before? And the question two. Question two. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, que no hayan usado todavía? Uh, for example, by the time, just as. Mm -hmm. Y el otro, the other one. Only. <laughs> y 
You sure? You sure? You can have night newspaper. Mm -hmm. I will finish it with it. Uh, when? Mm -mm. I'll tell you a secret. I will help you, right? So, it, by the... mm, it cannot be when. Porque when ya tuvo que haber utilizado, sido utilizado dos veces. When has to be <laughs> already twice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What other? One side. Mm, you sure once? Yes, yes. I can use once. The correct one is once. Correct. Okay, in the night, they have repainted the, the roof. Roof. Mm -hmm. The roof. Um, yeah. Just, just. No. Just. <laughs> it's the one you were trying to use before. Um, while? Uh, um... Uh, when? No, ya usamos when twice. <laughs> Era el que querían usar en, en uh, ocho. The one you were trying to use in number eight. Mm -hmm. When no usado, remember? Um, by the by time. time. That's the one. By the top. Excellent, excellent. So, guys, I will go to a different room, but I recommend one of the match to see how the other ones are doing. If not, okay. um, you know, you can call me, right? If you need help. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. Numbers nine and, and ten, Berna. Hello, guys. Hello. You finished? Yeah. Awesome. So I have my volunteers here, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Questions about vocabulary, or si quieren asegurarse de si una está correcta o no. You want to make sure if one is correct or not. Teacher, um, con la plataforma tengo una pregunta. Okay, tell me. Mm -hmm. En la penúltima de la sección dos de unir de Formar las oraciones en la número dos, no lo encuentro. All right. Um, and, and can you take a screenshot and send it to me on WhatsApp so I can help you? Uh, okay. All right. If you want, take the screenshot, send it to WhatsApp, y ahí le damos um, follow up. Continuamos con eso, all right? Okay. Okay, excellent. Entonces, solo voy a ver un room más, people, para que terminemos esta actividad, okay? Just one second. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, what? What is uh, just us? 
I'm sorry, which one do you ask for? Yes, just as. Just as. That would be like tal just como. As. Tal como. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. All right. So, uh, well, I can see you guys finished. Let's see if they are correct. Uh, number one, no. Number two, yes. Number three, yes. <laughs> Number four, yes. Number five, yes. Number six, no. Number seven, yes. Number eight, uh, no. Number nine, neither. And you're missing one, guys. You're missing number 10 there. Where's <laughs> number 10? This is number 10. <laughs> Okay. So let's see. Yes, in the presentation it was number 10. Let me share it here. Okay, one second. This is the one here. Can you see it? That's the complete. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. You're welcome. Perhaps you can take the screenshot right now. So um, complete the one you're missing. And then, um, you know, finish the activity here. All right. Well, we are about to finish. We have only one minute here. Okay, teacher. Okay, I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Oh, did you take the screenshot? Can I uh, stop yes, sharing yes. The, the screen? Okay, cool. I have taken it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, in a while. <laughs> yes. Vaya, la uno tenemos mal. Dijo que estaba bien, dijo que estaba mal. You want me to repeat it again? Why? Why? I if called you while I get home. Mm -mm. Mientras, no. Mm -mm. If called you as soon. Tan pronto como. Number eight. Well, that's correct. Uh, I guess that's uh, Mr. Luna, right? Writing. Typing, sorry. So yes, that's correct. Number one is correct. Now change number eight also. Okay, you can the newspaper. Okay. Because uh, mm. Okay. I think it's because. Number eight? Yes. No, it's not. Why? No. No, mientras, no. No, I, it cannot be while <laughs> because, you know, in order for you to use while, it's because you're using two things at the same time, right? So, está haciendo dos cosas a la vez. Mm. Bueno, number five, you know, number five says, I was preparing the dinner while John mientras. was washing the car. So, dos acciones al mismo tiempo. Okay. Once. Correct. You got it. Two actions. You can have the newspaper. Puedes en el, el periódico. Una vez. Yo lo haya leído. Uh, Correct. I have. Paper. Lo haya. I have. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Okay. Number nine. Ay, que era hasta que lo terminara, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. Number six is wrong, teacher. No, Number six. One second. You have their... Just as, right? Right. No, it's not correct. It's a not correct. No. 
Yes. Just to give you a, a hint, this is this is one of the two that you can repeat. De todas las que puso ya desde la 1 a la 5, una de esas puede repetirse en number 6. One of them can be repeated in number 6. Uh, when? Correct. Bye. Y ahí repetimos las únicas dos que se podían repetir. The only two that you could repeat it. Uh, so, which is when and after. Then you have to use a new, another one for number nine, number 10. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> for me, is for me, is by the time. By the, which is correct. By the time. Mm -hmm. And just as. Wait. Mm -hmm. Just as. All flights were canceled just as. Of the top. Mm -mm -mm. No. You know what? You know what? Actually, just as it's the answer of any of them. So there is another word that it can be repeated. What? Other word. No, I mean. Just as it's the answer of any of the questions, right? So there is another word that you can also repeat, which is the one in number four. Because. Mm -hmm. Because of, ah, uh, because of. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It has sense. <laughs> makes sense, right? It makes sense, yes. Okay, we're gonna close the rooms right now. So let's just go back to the main class so we can check it out, all right? Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We are just waiting for the rest of your classmates to join the main session again so we can continue with this. All right, no worries. There you go. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the class, to the main session again, all right? So we are going to have um, some volunteers to answer the questions we have right here, all right? So let's see, what's the uh, volunteer for number one? Who's gonna be my volunteer for number one? Number one, number one volunteer, who is it? Okay. Yeah. Nuria, all right, go ahead, Nuria, tell me. Uh, I me cerró. <laughs> okay. Es, I, I'll call you as soon as I get home. As soon as I get home. So let's see. Everybody else, agree or disagree? Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. All right, yes, that's right. That's absolutely right, as soon as. Very good job. Thank you. All right, so number two, another volunteer for number two. Henry. Okay, we decide to go for a walk after we have lunch. Thank you, Henry. Just remember that the word that I underlined there in red it's in past. So the pronunciation is going to be, we decided. Repeat it. Decided. Decided. And then you go and say here after, right? Yes. That is actually correct. So we got this one right here. Correct. Incorrect. Very good job. Uh, another volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Thank you. I got Maritza for number three. And then number four, Catherine, okay? Okay. 
Thank you. Go ahead, Maritza. I was washing my hair when the phone rang. It says when. All right. Excellent. So, correct or incorrect? Okay. Yes, that's correct. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Um, now you go, I go with you. Maritza, right? Or Catherine, I don't remember who was it. Number four. Me, hello, hello. Oh, Catherine, I, go ahead. I took a taxi um, because it was raining. Because it was raining. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So, yes or no, people? Yes. Correct. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Okay. I need another volunteer for number five. Who's my volunteer? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Go ahead, please. I was preparing dinner while John was washing the car. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Wild. Excellent. That's absolutely right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, right? Number six. Thank you, Wilfredo, go ahead. I got the bus stop when the bus arrived. When the bus arrived, excellent, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, that's correct. Very good job, excellent. Number seven. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead. After he he read the instructions, the new how to the operative the. I no no be. DVD. DVD. Recorder. Said? Recorder. Correct. Excellent. So, Nuria, let's review the pronunciation of three words right here. All right. So, the first one right here, it's the verb read. Read, it's the same word, but it has double pronunciation, right? In present, you pronounce it read. In past, you pronounce it read. Like the corner. Red. Correct. Then we have this one right here. Repeat it, please. Instructions. Instructions. There you go. And then... Operate. Operate. Excellent. And the last one, recorder. Recorder. Thank you very much. Good job. And obviously, the answer is correct. Thank you. Okay, so number eight. Number eight, number eight. You can have the newspaper once I be finished reading it. Okay, excellent. Oops, it's this one right here, once. Yes, yes, yes. Just remember this one here, my friend, no es I be, sino que es la contracción de I have. Entonces, la pronunciation will be I've. Repeat it. I. Correct, very good, excellent, thank you. And also, this is correct, good job. Number nine, volunteer for number nine. Hello, hello. Me, teacher. Okay, one more time. Go ahead. Okay, you can you can ha have the newspaper. Uh, Excuse no, me, Nuria. Nine, nine. Going number nine. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, they yes. had repaired the roof by the time John got back. By the time, by the time, excellent. By the so, time. By the time, yes. Excellent, that is actually correct. Good job as well. And the last one, volunteer for the last one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, Miguel Angel, go ahead.
Yes. Yes. Uh, I think is as soon as or flight were cancelled as soon as of the fog. Oh, I guess that is incorrect. All right. So another one, another idea. Because. Because, exactly. All right. So because of. Because of, exactly. So that's the correct one right here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, guys, you did a very good job. So, remember, this is just like a review. We are just checking what happens the last time. Sorry, Miguel. All right. So, but I have a question for you. All right. So, it's in this moment, right now, you can ask me, like, teacher, why was that the answer and not this one? So, I can explain. Para que te quede claro, para revisemos por qué fue esta respuesta and not another one. All right. Do you have questions? Ahí sería, ahí no sería en todo caso por qué, sino por. Exactly. All right. So, en este caso, como lo mencionas tú, we have a because, pero no solamente because, sino que combinado con la, la um, palabra of. All right. Entonces sería because of. Que en el sentido ya no significa por qué, sino que le da eh, el significado de por, simplemente. To give a reason, para una razón. All right. Thank you. Exactly. Yes, 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 Excuse me, number what 10? number? What number? Number 10. Oh, number 10. Fuck. It's just like, um, you know, what happens when it's very cold and it's like the, the fog cannot let you see, similar al humo, like um, neblina. That's what you call it. Neblina. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Ooh, I listen to reggaeton there. What happens? Uh huh. Who else? Questions? No questions? Vocabulary? No, teacher. No, no, no. No. All right. So let's see. Thank you, everybody here. All right, all right, all right. Excellent. All right now. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue with the next part of the class right here. So it's going to be um, this one. Oh, we'll see there. Oops, we went back here. Okay, excellent. So now, everybody, we are going to talk about the procedure manual. All right, so um, manual de procesos, that's what it means right here, okay? And in this one, so we need to talk about this. I you know what is it? So, for example, it says right here that um, a procedure manual is a resource. It says here for employees resource for employees that establishes guidelines and protocols for all main decisions. All right. So, um, actions, policies, and principles of an organization. It outlines action-oriented procedures that help improve the effectiveness, efficiency, and communication of your business processes. Well-written procedures are typically solid, precise, factual, short, and to the point. All right. Now, everybody, I need a volunteer uh, who can help me to read this paragraph about what is a procedure manual. Who can be my volunteer? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Nuria. Thank you. Uh, what is a procedure manual? Mm -hmm. A procedure manual is a resource for employees that establishes key Guidelines and protocols for all major decisions, actions, policies, and principles of an organization. If goodness, action oriented procedures mm -hmm. that help improve the effectiveness, efficient, and communication of your business process, well written process. 
procedures are typically solid, precise, factual, short, and to the point. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Good job, all right? So, Nuria, please help me with the pronunciation procedure. Repeat it. Procedures. Procedure, like procedure manual. Procedure, procedure manual. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we're talking about this one, a procedure manual, un manual de procesos. What is this about? It's a resource right here, which we have this word here. What is resource, people? Recursos. Recursos. Recursos for who? For the employees. And what is employees? Empleados. Exactly, right? Um, that establish guideline, guidelines. What are the guidelines? Guidelines, sorry, what guidelines? What is it? Directrices. Directrices, thank you. All right, so in protocols for all major decisions, actions, policies, principles of organizations. All right, it says outlines. All right, so it says it outlines. What is it outlines? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? All right. So you can have it here. Outline, which is described. All right. So it outlines action-oriented procedures that help improve effectiveness. Hey, I have a question for you, by the way. All right. So What's the meaning of procedure? Hmm? What's the meaning of procedure, people? Proceso. Proceso, exactly, right? So that help improve effectiveness, efficiency, and communication of your business processes. Well-written. What is well-written? Hello? Bien escrito. Bien escritos. Bien escritos o bien redactados. Exactly. All right. So are typically solid, precise, factual. What is, what is precise? Preciso. 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 Exactly. Right. All right, so and what is factual? What is factual? Como puntual. No. Factual, factual. I will say it will be similar to objetivo. You know? Así como like, you know. Preciso, objetivo, factual, it's just like this one. All right, short and to the point, all right? So exactly. So this is what, that, that's actually the meaning of a procedure manual, right? So it's just like something that we normally have in any company that is going to help us to know the rules of the companies, right? Hey guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary in this uh, slide? Questions? Uh, no question? Uh, Excuse all, me? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? All cleanliness? Uh, this one? Yes. Guidelines. Okay. Oh, this one? Yeah. Outlines. 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 Mm -hmm. Outlines. Outlines. Correct. Anything else? No? Can I continue? No. Yes, continue, please. All right. Thank you very much. So let's just continue with this one right here. Okay. So 
what is covered in a policy procedure manual, all right? So, ¿qué es lo que cubre, all right? O ¿Qué se hace with this procedure manual right here? So, we have two actually, um, well, a lot of information right here, right? So, I need two volunteers, someone who can help me to read this one, and another who can help me to read this one right here, all right? So, uh, let's see. Number one, volunteer. Me, teacher. Go ahead. The vision, mission, mission, and core mm -hmm. values, values of the mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. organizational culture, employment policies, training manuals, mm -hmm. employee mm -hmm. health benefits, sick yes. days, and vacation days, payment mm -hmm. procedures. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Payment procedures, all right? Procedures, do you remember? <laughs> all right, so. Procedures. <laughs> all right, excellent. Thank you. So, parte de lo que incluye, all right, or part of the, what this uh, includes right here, it's this one. So, like, the vision, the vision, mission, and the core values of a business. All the companies include that one, right? Mission, vision, y los valores de la compañía, all right? So, we also have, for example, the organizational culture, all right? Decir cómo está organizada la, la, um, the company. So, like, jerarquía, if you want to call it like that. All right, so, employment policies, all right? ¿Cuáles son las políticas de empleo that this company has, all right? Decir eh, cómo contratan, or what's the process of hiring new people in the company. Then we have here the training manuals, right? Una vez... Well, it depends on the company and also the position sometimes, all right? Because just to give you an example, did you receive a training when you started working in your company? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, excellent. So depending on the training, of course, right? Yeah, on the company, sorry. So you receive training sometimes and sometimes they just like, you know, let you um go to the water right so then we have like the employee health benefits sick days vacation days right so it's just like los um beneficios like the salud all right los sick days que serían como los incapacidades all right y los vacation days right but in these cases when you have a vacation day y el proceso de pago so el payment procedure it will be by check, by direct deposit, right through the bank, et cetera, et cetera, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Giovanni, ¿qué anda haciendo en todos lados poniendo puntos? <laughs> right, so let's see. Tell me, uh, volunteer for number two, the, 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 the section number two here. Yes, volunteer, volunteer. Come on, people, for reading. Yes. Hello, hello. Is that Miguel or Henry? Hello? Uh, no problem, no problem. Yeah, this one, right? Yes. It will be itinerary. Okay, itineraries. Correct. Travel itineraries. And harassment, harassment and discrimination guidelines. Correct. Workplace guidelines, technology usage policies. Policies, correct. Expense reimbursement. No, esa no sé. Reimburse, reimbursement. Reimbursement. Mm -hmm. Policies. Policy. Thank you, and thank you for trying, right? I know it's new vocabulary, but thank you very much for trying. So let's say this one right here. It says, eh, what is an itinerary, people? Itinerario de vuelo. The, the viaje could be, all right? So in yeah. general, so this is just like the word viaje. But yeah, itinerarios, right? So in the case that, of course, the company requires that you travel to a different city or country, of course, right? Then this one, harassment. Hey, guys, do you know the meaning of the word har um, harassment? Yes or no? No. 
No. All right. The word harassment, it means acoso. Oh. All right, acoso and discrimination guidelines. So, so, so sometimes the manual can actually be aware of this one. So the manual puede contemplar qué acciones tomar, all right, whenever that situation happens in, in the company, right? So, and then the workplace guidelines, which is this one. ¿Qué sería esto, people? Like the workplace guidelines. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Here are well, guidelines, remember? Directrices. But workplace mm -hmm. is como lugar de trabajo. Exactly, all right. Trabajo. Entonces, sería ahí. Directrices del lugar de trabajo. Las directrices del lugar del trabajo, exactamente, right? So, como lo, lo general, right? So, come early, don't use the cell phone sometimes, etc., right? And you can have the next one. So, technology usage policies. Oh, take a look at this one. Eso es bien común ahora en día, right? So, nowadays is very common. The technology usage policies. So, for example, to use the cell phone, right? In, in some companies, you cannot use your cell phone because it's not permitted. All right. So, or if you are on the in the office, you cannot access to Facebook on the computer or to play music from YouTube or anything like that. That's basically what it means, right? And the last one, expense reimbursement. All right. First of all, what is an expense? What is it? Gasto. Exactly. And then reimbursement. Reintegros. Reintegro o reembolso, exactly, right? Entonces sería eh, what we call here in Spanish, los viáticos, you know? In case sometimes that you have to um, go to a different city and you use your car, so they give you $20 for the gas, for example, all right? Todo eso queda ya de una sola vez eh, cubierto en el manual de procesos para que no se quede como la like, no tienes derecho, or you cannot do it, right? Sino que ya está todo establecido, established. Very good, excellent. Hey, everybody, questions about vocabulary here? Yes or no? No, teacher, it's clear. Okay, excellent. So I'm moving to the next slide right here, which is this one right here. Okay, so here we have... And a slide that talks about the benefits of having a procedure manual, all right? So there are some benefits right here that I want you to help me reading. All right, so who can help me to read the, the procedure? I mean, the, the, the benefits here. So remember that the benefits are those, all right? So this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Aha, yeah. mm -hmm. uh -huh. volunteer right. for help. Oh, Catherine, right? Catherine, go ahead, please. Okay, benefit of having, having a procedure mm -hmm. manual. Benefit yes. of is it, improve employee productivity. Mm -hmm. Improve communication. Yeah. Define expectation for employees. Maintain mm -hmm. safe. I don't know how to say. Safety. Safety. Mm hmm um the next uh, sanity sanity in the mm -hmm. field reduce onboarding training time all right there you go excellent so let's see this one let's see this one what is actually sanity in the field mm -hmm. All right. Seguridad y limpieza. All right. Okay, excellent. So I'm sending this right now to the chat so you can see it here. <laughs> que no tiene nada que ver con saneamiento esto, right? So... Sanity means cordura. 
There you go. All right, excellent. And thank you, Catherine, for helping me reading this one, right? So you were doing a very good job. All right, so then in this one right here, it goes to following improves employees' productivity, which is the first one we have right here. Improves the employee productivity, all right? So what way? Because like if the employees knows what they are doing, it's going to be clear and easier for them to do it. Si saben que van a hacer, so, you know, they shouldn't do anything wrong. Improves communication, of course, you know, because todo está ya establecido, solamente hay que read it and then continue with the process, right? Then it says, defines expectations for employees. Super important, right? Cuando uno entra a una compañía nueva y lee el manual, so tiene claras las expectativas o clear what you can expect from the company, lo que puedes esperar de la compañía, right? Maintain safety and sanity in the field. Safety, la seguridad y la cordura, right? So, which is like nobody else is going to um, do activities that they shouldn't be working on. So, it's going to be clear on this one. And then, reduces onboarding and training time, right? Si todo el mundo sabe qué tiene que hacer, se gasta menos tiempo en training, and, you know, to explain cada process, right? Of course. So, questions. Vocabulary. Hello? Maintains. All right, so mantener. Mantener, okay. Mm -hmm. Eric, uh, anything else? Can I continue? Yes, yes. okay, thank you. Okay, everybody, now we are going to see an example. One example like this one right here, all right? Um. Don't worry, ya lo voy a dividir para que you can see like the, 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 what it does include here, pero ese es como se vería todo el um, ya completo, right? So the operations manual template right here, which is include, all right? So many different things right here. Esa sería como la tabla de contenidos de lo que incluiría un um, operations manual. Por eso dice aquí arriba la palabra template. What is template, people? Mm -hmm. What is template? No idea? No worries. Una plantilla, plantilla. Yes. Correct, correct, correct. That is actually what happens there. Thank you. All right, this is una plantilla que les muestro acá de cómo se vería un, um, una tabla de contenidos, right? So, de un manual que incluye. Ahora vamos a verlo de cerca. All right, so we can see everything here. So we can divide this one. So la primera parte, so let's see. So the operations one the template, all right. So in, it says right here, number one, table of contents, all right. So what is a table of contents, people? El menú, o la tabla de contenidos. Una tabla de contenidos, tal cual, right? So, ahí le podemos llamar index, if it is possible, right? Que podría ser también un índice. Index. All right, so if you want to call it like that. So, tenemos la introduction, all right? And the introduction, what normally does it include? Let's see. I need a volunteer who can help me to read the introduction section. Volunteer for reading? Me, teacher. All right, thank you, sir. Go ahead. Introduction, company incorporation and history, mm -hmm. uh, company governance, mission, mm -hmm. vision, values, mm -hmm. approval of and change, approval of and changes to operations manual. Manual, all right. Thank you very much. All right, so it's the first part. Oh, thank you, by the way, Mr. Luna, good job. And this is the first part right here includes this one, the company incorporation in history. O sea, de qué se trata la compañía, qué hace, qué ha hecho, etc., etc., right? The company governance, which is going to be como la estructura eh, de la company, quien es el CEO, the manager, supervisors, employees, boss, etc., you know, all the structure of the company there. Luego lo que toda company has, like every company has this one, so mission, vision, and values, right? And then, uh, the, you know, en caso de que haya que aplicar cambios al operations manual, sería en esa sección cómo se aplicarían los changes, of course, right? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Luna, can you help me again with a reading with the number three, which is very short? Of course. 
uh, <laughs> purpose. Purpose. Um, purpose, okay, purpose. Description of manual, purpose of manual. Thank you very much. All right, so, para que ha sido creado este manual, so you can understand this when it goes with some introduction there. Thank you. At the moment, do you have questions about the vocabulary that you can see there? Hello? No, no question, teacher. No questions. All right, awesome. So let's just continue with this one. The second part right here. All right, so ha, ha, have a word right here. If you tell me how to say this word, uh huh. Yes, what is it? La jerarquía de la compañía. Yeah, how do you pronounce the word jerarquía? Hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see who is it. Okay. Company hierarchy. Hierarchy? What is it? Let's see. Hierarchy. Oh, thank you. One more time, please. Hierarchy. Mm -hmm. hierarchy. What is it? Can you listen? Hierarchy, repeat it, hierarchy. Hierarchy. Yes. Which is just the one, this one. All right. So, uh, like again, so we have this one right there. So, we have this one. So, the senior roles, mid level roles, lower level roles, and uh, the hierarchy flow chart. All right. So, what this is happens, no tiene, esto no tiene que ver con lo anterior, con the like. Governance, porque in the governance, it's just like quienes están en los like president, vice president, director, manager, etc. Right? So it mentions the names, you know, of the people who are in those positions, right? Y este de aquí, which is the um, this one, all right, includes just like que hace cada uno de ellos, right? Por eso dice aquí la palabra roles, right? You see here roles. Que hacen los senior roles, los mid-level roles, los lower roles, por ejemplo, management, supervision, en los employees, que tienen que hacer, for example, y a el, el, la estructura jerárquica, right? Then, we got the job description and contact information. So, um, you know, the job title, the purpose, the duties and responsibilities, qualifications, and contact information, right? Es decir, eh, vamos ya con la, la, ya los trabajos a nivel eh, de empleado, right? So, ¿qué hace? I mean, ¿cuál es el título? What's the purpose? Like, the activities, responsibilities that person has. Y las qualifications que son, um, like, the description of, like, how the employee is supposed to be, right? And then the business procedures. Cuando tenemos procedures, aquí ya depende de la compañía. Aquí vamos a especificar cuáles son los procedures para tal área, right? So, for example, if we were talking about restaurants before, what would be the process for the front line, for the back line, for the office, etc., right? And the emergency processes and procedures, of course, all the companies need to have that as well. Here in El Salvador, every company has it, all right? So, and then uh, we have those activities that we have here in El Salvador called simulacros. By the way, how do you say simulacro in English? Mm hmm Yes. Any idea how do you say simulacro? No, teacher. <laughs> no problem. All right. So no problem. That's fine. I'm going to show you right here. Let's see. Simulacrum. Simulacrum. Thank you. All right. So the person who's helping me. Simulacrum. All right. That's how you say it. Simulacro. All right. So then you go on the next one. Que eso ya es como para emergencies. Así como like natural disasters, those earthquakes, right? The hurricanes, for example, currently we are in um in a situation with all these procedures or processes need to be taken into consideration, right? Um, et cetera, right? So, and that's basically like the whole thing right here. So questions? Questions? No questions? It's okay. Okay. Security. Mm, let's see here. Which one do you say? In number what is it? In number seven, emergency process. Uh huh. Three, which one is it? Security. The second one. Yes. 
All right. So, oh, okay. So the breach of security, it will be where you're talking about, for example, eh, seguridad violada, which means just like, um, ¿qué hacer en caso de que, for example, nos hackearon? Just to say something, right? Okay. Thank you. All right. So like that. So the breach security, all right, etc. All right, excellent. So anything else? No? Can I continue? Number four is any other roles? Mid level yeah. roles, you said. Este. Sí, tiene traducción. Mid-level roles. No, la, la primera. Senior roles. Is that the one you're asking for? Uh -huh. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cómo se traduce? Podría ser como los roles superiores o las, eh, los cargos superiores, if you want to call it like that. Uh -huh. Roles o cargos superiores. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, so if you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. All right, so we have a conversation time right now, ladies and gentlemen, so we can practice this conversation time with your classmates there. All right, so we have five questions and you're going to discuss the answers of these questions in the breakup rooms with your classmates, right? Vamos a ir question by question right now so you can understand the question, all right? Number one, it says, what is the purpose of a procedure manual in an organization or workplace, right? Remember, what's the meaning of purpose? Do you remember it, people? Hmm? What is the meaning of purpose? Hello, hello. Proposito. Proposito, very good. So what's the purpose of a procedure mailing and organization? En sus palabras, ¿por qué cree que that's important, basically? All right. So number two, let's see. Can someone help me with number two reading? Hello, hello. How can a well written procedures manual benefit employees and their work processes? Okay, thank you very much. All right, so we had that expression before here, well written, all right? So que eran bien escritos o bien redactados. Entonces, ¿cómo nos puede beneficiar a sus employees in the work processes, right? Thank you. Number three, number three, volunteer. Me teacher. Go ahead. What are some key components that should be included in a compre comprehensive comprehensive procedure, comprehensive procedure mm -hmm. manual? All right, procedure, procedure. Hey, procedure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nuria. All right, so los componentes claves, right? Componentes claves. De el manual, all right? Thank you. Number four, number four. Volunteer for number four. Thank you, chair. Thank you, Henry. Go ahead. Is there a manual with procedure in your workplace? Thank you, right? So in your companies, do you have a, um, a manual with the procedures there? Is it good? Yes or no? Like you can describe it. And the last one, please, volunteer for the last one. Come on, just reading. Yes, volunteer, please. Do you think this manual can be improved? improved? Thank you. What is improved? Improved. Mm -hmm. What is it? I am not sure. Ah, mejorado. Mejorado, correct. Exactly, right? So, improve. Si suma el manual de su compañía, right, puede ser mejorado, yes or no. All right? 
Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, now everybody, we are going to uh, go back to the breakout rooms to see if actually uh, you can set this one right here. Uh, let's just continue with this one right here. Veamos si alguien puede compartirlo in the group antes de que nos vayamos to conversation questions. Yes, yes, yes. All right, thank you very much. So let's see, what are we going to do? Basically, just practice with your uh, classmates in the breakup rooms, but people use English, please, because sometimes I access to the breakup rooms and you are speaking Spanish, right? So let's be careful with that one. Try to practice in English answering the questions, all right? We'll give a couple of minutes so you can practice right now. Okay, uh, breakup rooms, so... The same breakout rooms we were working with before, all right? So please access to them. Go ahead. Thank you. This axis. Okay, perfect. So let's see. Let's piece it the first one. How are you doing? Hello, do you need help? Questions, vocabulary? No questions? Mm -mm. In this moment, no. Okay, I will be here in case you need help. Just tell me, okay? Mira, yo la contesté así, no sé si está oh, bien. Oh, nice Spanish. <laughs> yeah, sorry, creí que ya se ve. Ah, sabía. surprise. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, the purpose, the purpose, the purpose. The purpose. 
purpose of the work manual is to have the information in organize and understand understand ¿Cómo se dice ordenada? Organized. Ordenada. Ajá, uh, uh -huh. sería organ or organize ordenado. Mm -hmm. And um, para decir que lo entiendan todos, entendible, comprensible. Understandable. Understand. Understandable. Understandable. Uh -huh. Understandable. Uh, Manner for a personal. Number one, number two. Questions, questions. Repos, repos, repos. Teacher. Yes. Rep Reprocesos. Excuse me, what is it? Reprocesos. Reprocesos. Ajá, o sea, como reproces, como repetir. So that would be repeat. Mm, pero como reprocesar información. Mm, Number two. La pregunta número dos. Uh -huh. This would be just like reprocesar, you mean? Ajá, como... Eh, digamos, Because evita... Reproces... Evita los if reprocesos. Wanna... If you want to say reprocesar, yes. Reprocesar. Reprocess. Reprocess. Uh -huh.
pour ceux qui ont les pierres de scandale et de pouvoir se prochain ce soir. Okay, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just call me, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. It's a purpose company hierarchy and job description contact info. Yes. You know, business processes and procedure policies. Okay, very good. Questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. So you finished? Uh, no. No yet. Okay, no worries. I'm just checking here, all right? So uh, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just let me know, okay? Okay, okay thank you. You're, you're doing good, thank you. Okay. Okay, it's next is... Yes, uh... Hello, guys. Do you finished? Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes. Are you finished? Okay. No problem. So then I will just check one more room so we can finish. You guys finished? Hello? Okay. I will not teacher. Now, ah, okay. So, okay, I don't hear you practicing. What happens?
procedure. ¿Verdad? Correct. Teacher? Correct, correct. Correct, correct. Thank you. All right, we are going to finish here so we can go back to the main sections, all right? Soy solo yo, está hablando en mute, porque de rato veo que está hablando y no le escucho nada. I'm sorry, maybe it was true, all right? So thank you for the uh, heads up, all right? So everybody here, so who's my volunteer for number one? Thank you, Miguel. Hello, hello. Who's going to be my volunteer for question number one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. So tell me, what is the purpose of a procedure manual in an organization or workplace? Uh, in my opinion, it, it is used to learn important information about the company and to be clear about the expectations of the new employee employees all right excellent thank you all right thank you thank you you got a correct answer right there so that was actually super super nice right thank you nuria mm -hmm. good job all right excellent so what about number two volunteer for number two okay nuria now please do me a favor and choose the next volunteer Mm -hmm. Nuria, Nuria. The 
Hello. Next volunteer. Hello. Hello, everybody. Who is it? Sonia, is that you? Number two? Uh, it's important okay. to cause improved pro product productivity and avoid reprocessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's it all right that's it thank you all right so that was just about it all right now let's go with number three number three number three another volunteer los demás me escuchan bien o solamente será problema de la conexión de henry people Yo lo escucho bien, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. Cool. All right, thank you. Just confirm it, right? Uh, uh -huh. What about the rest? Ahora que me confirmaron que me escuchan, quiero un volunteer for number three, please. <laughs> All right? Uh, me, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Nuri again? Yes. Uh, yes. I, I think um uh, introductions uh, job descriptions mm -hmm. business process and mm -hmm. procedures uh, emergency process and processes exactly so the last part that we were checking all right thank you what about a volunteer for number four oh my goodness imagine i have here Eh, Guillermo, Henry, um, Maritza, Miguel, Noé, Sonia, hey, Mr. Luna. Uh -huh. Another volunteer, people. We have a lot of people here. Uh -huh. Who's my volunteer? Miguel, okay, number four. The question is Is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Correct. Uh, yes, there is. All right, and let's answer number five. Do you think the manual can be improved or it's okay for you? Uh, I think uh, we can be improved. It can be improved. All right, excellent. Why? Um, because... It's not clear? Yes. It is that eh, también es como ah como bien confuso it's confused it's confusing all right so confusing repeat it confusing mm -hmm. exactly all right okay so you can say like in two ways all right it's not clear no es claro or it's confusing which is like es confuso like this yes like that one it's confusing it's confusing all right exactly so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you all right so let's see uh, miguel do me a favor and select somebody else Noé Gustavo. Ok, Noé. Ahí de ya. Ajá. Number four and number five, please. Ok. Um, yes. Uh -huh. uh, is there a, a manual with procedure in your in workplace? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, excellent. And do you think this manual can be improved? 
yes yes and it, it, why to, to improve employ the condition of employees okay exactly like that very good excellent okay and uh, let's see let's see one more here choose the next person oops uh, choose the next person go ahead And what happens with, let's see, Mr. Wilfredo Luna, are you still there? Yes, I am. I'm here. To... I mean, tell me why you haven't been my volunteer before. Um, No, no problem. I can participate. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, let me just change the question for you. All right. So uh, is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Yes, there is. All right. What, in your opinion, what's the importance of this manual in the organization or the workplace? What's the importance? Yeah. What's the purpose? Oh, oh, the purpose. Okay. Um, and in my opinion, in my opinion, I think that it is important to get a uh, better control on the itineraries and daily activities of the employees, for example, we can read it in the in the in the procedure manual the the indications to follow. In some cases, in some specific cases, and I think it is useful for all employees, uh, mm -hmm. in order to to follow the steps of the company. All right, excellent. And in your company, the manual you have, do you think it's okay or it needs to be improved? Okay, as I think I I think Miguel said it, uh, uh -huh. in the way of being more detailed in each process, in each process development, in order to uh -huh. get it easier uh, for all employees, I think it could be improved. Because sometimes they use uh, a weird word. I don't know how to say it. Uh, palabras technical. technical words, perhaps? Uh, 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 yes, that's right. Technical words. And some employees uh, uh, don't understand that word. Uh, they need to be more detailed or use uh, a more common word. In order to to the employees and, and understand better. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Thank you for your participation. That was actually very nice as well. So nice fluency. Okay, everybody, for the rest of you, I need to participate in the activities in an active way, right? So uh, I would say thank you very much for joining the class, but remember you also need to participate. So we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for joining the class. I will see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. Have a good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care, my friends. Good job. Bye. Bye-bye.